So I've measured the line, the length that needs to be and run, and I, I put the, the line in the vise. I have one of the, the vise protectors, um, the aluminum magnetic that go in the vise. It just happens to have a slot that runs down the center and holds a, a tube this size in place. You want to cut the line with a very fine tooth pack saw and just go slow. And you'll feel it grab. Just try to let it slide along. It will go through. And this will cut. I put a little piece of tape on it also. It cuts down the fraying. But this way, the stainless outer will be easier to work with. And it won't distort the inner, the inner lining. So you see the, the inside of the line and the outer stainless braid. What's going to happen here is there's a, a little compression cup that will go, that'll slide over the inner lining between the stainless outer lining. So I'm going to get off any tape that's left on there. And you note in the, this is going to actually go inside the tubing here. The first thing I do is press this in a little bit just to rewound or make the inner part round as possible. So this will slide back in after the cup goes on. This outer sleeve goes on, slides over. the stainless, hopefully, and make sure it's oriented the way I have it here where the, the narrower part faces inward. So it'll, it's going to end up looking like this. This end's all set. So the next part is to get the, the cup, compression cup in there in between the stainless. You may have to take a little screwdriver and just run it in between the actual inner hose and the stainless just to give a little gap so this cup can slide over it and down inside a little bit. Once you get it started, and make sure it is started, you know, make sure it's relatively straight in there that none of the, the stainless little ends got stuck and won't allow it to go in. Then just give a little a little press on a flat solid surface and you should see the inner part come up even with the brass here. And then this guy's gonna slide back over this is going to go inside the tube and don't fight it. If it if it feels like it doesn't want to go in, you got to look and make sure it's not catching on something. So that one went in pretty nice and press it in until it stops. Then just start start threading this part here as much as you can. And then we're going to go back Put it in the vise. You don't have to have this this vise tool. It's not a necessity for this. It does help with your AN lines to keep them from getting marked up. But um, it actually hold this the way I'd like it to. 
and these. And then it's just a matter of tightening out this side. Now, <coughs> if you put a little mark on the stainless where it is coming in contact with the, the fitting, you can monitor it and make sure that it's not moving. If it's pushing out, the hose is going this way out away from it, that means it's not going to, the inner part's not going to get compressed correctly. So this one's staying in place nicely. At the very end, it may move a little bit just because it just can't compress that much. So and there we have this type of fitting on here on both ends. You know what? You might find you might struggle a little bit with the stainless fraying, getting that cup in there. That's the trickiest part. But they gave you enough hose that if you make a mistake, you'll be able to make a line over again. And if you cut them a little bit long, you can always get rid of a little bit of slack. And if you can't get that cup in there, then um, you know just cut it, tape it, and cut it back a little bit more and try again.